All right, number seven. Look, the directions say, okay, that, great, I just got it aligned and now I have to do it. Here, let me grab another worksheet. I don't want to mess up the alignment. It says the dilation from A to B. Okay, that means if you start at A, this is the pre-image and B is the image, yes? Okay, so. Okay. So listen, if you start small and you go big, is that an enlargement or reduction? Enlargement. Okay, so this is an enlargement. And you have to give me the scale factor. So we'll get to that. But let's first set up our ratios. Okay, look, as far as your ratios, if you want to go big, small, or small, big, here's the issue. Do you want your variables on the top or the bottom? And this is what I mean. Look, I have X and Y are on the pre-image. 5, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5. Those are all in the image. If you want your variables set up as numerators, I'm going to go small over big. Yes? But if you decide to go big over small, you're not incorrect. It's just your variables are going to be set up below, so you're going to have one more step, but it, it, it doesn't matter, okay? So I'm going to go small over big. So I'm going to go 2 over 5, x over 7.5, y over 5, z over 7.5. Now remember, if you're able to solve these in your head because you're able to identify the scale factor, awesome. But like I said, we're leading into trig with radicals. So I have to do it the proper way so that when I get to the radicals, you guys have this foundation. Okay, so which one is your scale factor? Pink, green, orange, or blue? Which one is the scale factor? Pink, because it has two numbers. This is your scale factor. So my K is 2 fifths. Right? So it's an, um, oh wait, I went five halves. Ah, it's five halves because remember, I split it. Remember, it's always image over pre image. Okay? All right, look. So to find x, y, and z, to, can I move this up? Okay, to solve for it, you have to create three separate proportions. I realize I kind of wrote big. And you're going to set it equal to that scale factor 2 fifths. Now, if you don't want to use 2 fifths and you want to use 0 0.4, right? So let me rewrite this one. If, say, instead of 2 over 5, you would rather save yourself some time and write 0 0.4, you could set the ratio equal to the decimal scale factor or the fraction scale factor. It doesn't matter. Okay, now how do you solve? Cross product property. So now multiply. What's 7.5 times 2? 14 divided by 5. And what is 14 divided by 5? 2.8. Do y cross product, y is equal to 10 divided by 5, y is 2. And then z, what is 7.5 times 0. 0.4? 3. You guys, 7.5 times 2 is not 14, it's 15. It's 3. Okay, so there's your X, Y, and Z. I know you did a really bad job. Okay, you are not obligated to put all this work down. If you can solve it quickly, that's great because you guys understand scale factors. Okay, 
Let me stop this. 